call one differentiation one. We can use differentiation to find the gradient of curve at any point. If we look at the line y equals 2x plus 1, the gradient line is 2. That means the gradient's 2 here, and the gradient's 2 here, and the gradient's 2 here. The gradient's 2 at every place on the line. But what about the curve y equals x squared? The gradient here, and the gradient here, and the gradient here are all different. How can we find the gradient at these different places? If I look at the curve y equals x cubed, the gradient at any point is 3x squared. If I look at the curve y equals x4, the gradient at any point is 4x cubed. If I look at the curve y equals x to the power 5, the gradient at any point is 5x to the power 4. Now we have a special way of writing gradient in differentiation, and that's dy by dx. For the curve y equals x to the power 5, the gradient, dy by dx, is 5x to the power 4. For y equals x to the power 6, the gradient, dy by dx, is 6x to the power 5. For y equals x to the power 7, the gradient, dy by dx, is 7x to the power 6. Now, you might have noticed that there's actually a pattern the rule is the power drops down the front and multiplies and we take one away from the power. y equals x to the power 8. The gradient dy by dx equals 8x to the power 7. The 8 drops down the front and multiplies and we take away 1 and it becomes x to the power 7. y equals x to the power 9. The 9 drops down the front and multiplies, and we take away 1 from the 9, and it becomes x to the power 8. y equals x to the power 10. The 10 drops down the front and multiplies, and we take 1 away from the 10, and it becomes x to the power 9. But what do I mean when I say that this is the gradient at any point? Well, here's the curve y equals x cubed. If I want to know what the gradient is when x is 2, I write down y equals x cubed. Then I differentiate it. The gradient dy by dx is 3x squared. The 3 drops down the front and multiplies, and 3 take away 1 is 2. Then to know exactly what the gradient is when x is 2, I substitute in x is 2. So the gradient dy by dx is 3 times 2 squared which is equal to 12. So on the curve y equals x cubed, when x is 2, the gradient is 12. What about if I've got a number in front as well? y equals 5x to the cubed, exactly the same, the gradient dy by dx, 3 drops down the front and multiplies, and 3 take away 1 is 2. 3 times 5 is 15, so the gradient dy by dx is 15x squared. y equals 2x to the power 4. When we differentiate, the 4 drops down the front and multiplies, and 4 take away 1 is 3. 4 times 2 is 8, so the gradient dy by dx equals 8x cubed. y equals 3x to the power 5. The 5 drops down the front and multiplies, and 5 take away 1 is 4. 5 times 3 is 15, so the gradient dy by dx is 15x to the power 4. 
and again we can find specific values as well. If I've got the curve y equals 4x cubed and I want to know exactly what the gradient is when x is 2, I write down y equals 4x cubed, differentiate it, 3 drops down the front and multiplies and 3 take away 1 is 2, 3 times 4 is 12, so the gradient dy by dx is 12x squared. Now if I want to know exactly what the gradient is at x is 2, I substitute in x is 2. dy by dx is 12 times 2 squared, which is 48. So the gradient of y equals 4x cubed when x is 2 is 48. We can use differentiation to find the gradient of a curve at any point. The power drops down the front and multiplies and we take one away from the power.